Hello, my dear learners! Welcome back to our TLE class. I am Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE teacher. Join me as we learn new lesson in TLE 7 Cookery. Make sure that you are holding or reading your fourth module in TLE. Now, I am going to show you some pictures of ingredients. I want you to compare the two sets of ingredients. Here is the first set of ingredients. And the second set of ingredients. Can you see the difference? Very good! The first set shows small amounts of ingredients, while the second set shows large amounts of ingredients. Class! Why do we need to adjust the recipe? Perfect! One reason why we adjust the recipe is because we consider the number of people who are going to consume the food. Our topic for today is Convert Systems of Measurement According to Recipe Requirement. Here are the objectives that you will be able to meet at the end of the lesson. Number 1. Explain the conversion system in adjusting the recipe. Number 2. Follow the steps in converting systems of measurement. And number 3. Convert system of measurements properly. Aside from using correct measuring tools and equipment, there is a need to observe the correct way of measuring the ingredients. Accuracy in ingredients measurement and the knowledge to do the right substitution is very important to produce quality products. Knowing conversion is an important skill that everyone should learn for effective performance in the kitchen. Here are the pointers to remember for measuring the ingredients accurately. Use the standard set of measuring cups, measuring glass, and measuring spoons. Make sure that they are clean before using them. Place the measuring cup on a flat level or even surface and pour up the liquid to the correct level of measure. Check the measurement and read at eye level for a more accurate measurement. Avoid moving or lifting the measuring cup. Never dip a cup or a measuring spoon in molasses, syrup, oil, milk, or juice. Sift the dry ingredients at least twice. Then, Scoop to fill the measuring cup until it overflows and level it off with a spatula or straight edge knife. Never pack or press the ingredients in a cup except when measuring brown sugar. Press the lard or margarine tightly into a cup to remove the air. Level it with a spatula. Spring scales should be adjusted so that the pointer is zero. Learn how to match the size of the pan to the size of the unit and select the right amount of heat for cooking to be done. Recipes also need to be modified to suit the needs of specific circumstances. The most popular reason for modifying the recipe is to increase the number of individual parts of it. Other reasons for adjusting the recipes include changing portion sizes and making better use of available preparation equipment. Like, you need to split a recipe to make two half batches 
due to lack of open space. Stop. Keep in mind that it is always easier to add a recipe than to take one away. So, do not throw a lot of spices at all at once and make sure you taste your food as you cook. The success of the recipe depends on the right adjustment, measurement, and conversion of ingredients and the use of appropriate tools while cooking. This is the most common way to adjust recipes. It only requires two steps. First, to find the conversion factor and the second is to multiply the ingredients in the original recipe by that factor. To find the appropriate conversion factor to adjust the recipe, follow these steps. 1. Take note on the yield of the recipe that needs to be adjusted. 2. Decide what kind of yield is needed. And 3. Obtain the conversion factor by dividing the required yield, that is, the conversion factor equals the required yield divided by recipe yield. If the number of portions and the size of each portion change, you will need to find a conversion factor using a similar approach. 1. Determine the total yield of the recipe by multiplying the number of servings and the size of each serving. 2. Find the conversion factor by dividing the required yield, that is, conversion factor equals required yield divided by recipe yield. To ensure that you find the conversion factor correctly, remember that if you increase your amounts, the conversion factor will be greater than 1, and if you reduce your amounts, the factor is less than 1. Step number 1 is to find the conversion factor. This is the table of ingredients for conversion recipe in U.S. system. Step number two, multiply the ingredients by the conversion factor that we got earlier. This process is shown in this table of ingredients for recipe adjusted in U.S. system. You are going to multiply the original amounts by the conversion factor. For example, for the flour, 3 and 1 fourth pounds will be multiplied to 4. And here on this column are the new ingredient amounts. Here are the cooking measurements and its conversion. There are 3 teaspoons in a tablespoon. Multiply the tablespoon by 3 to convert the tablespoons to teaspoons. 1 cup contains 48 teaspoons. Multiply the cup value by 48 to convert cups to teaspoons. A fluid ounce contains 2 tablespoons. To convert the fluid ounces to tablespoons, multiply the fluid ounce by 2. There are 64 tablespoons in a quart. Multiply the quart value by 64 to convert quarts to tablespoons. Class, we are done with our discussion. Let me check if you truly understand our lesson. On a clean sheet of paper, I want you to write the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. How many tablespoons are there in a cup of flour? A. 15 tablespoon B. 16 tablespoon C. 19 tablespoon D. 20 tablespoon. The correct answer is letter B. Number 2. You will bake cupcakes for snack. The baking temperature is at 
356 degree Fahrenheit. But your electric oven sets in degree Celsius. How many degree Celsius are there in 356 degree Fahrenheit? A. 100 degree Celsius. B. 150 degree Celsius. C. 170 degree Celsius. D. 180 degree Celsius. The correct answer is letter D. Number 3. One tablespoon is equivalent to how many teaspoons? A. 3 teaspoons B. 5 teaspoons C. 7 teaspoons D. 9 teaspoons The correct answer is letter A. Number 4. What conversion factor should you use to make 20 servings with 150 grams and 30 servings with 150 grams? A. 1.5 B. 2.5 C. 3.5 D. 4.5 The correct answer is letter A. Number 5. How many fluid ounces are there in one cup? A. 4 B. 6 C. 8 D. 5 The correct answer is letter C. Did you get the correct answers? Congratulations! I hope you learned a lot today and you are all ready to answer all the activities in your TLE Module 4. Again, this is Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE Teacher. See you next time!